Hey Aries, what's up? Welcome back to the Trap House. I decided to give you a weekly bonus. Um, I know I got all caught up in my feels last night and my significant Aries person in my life actually has Aries in three different charts and I don't think he realizes how strong his power is. He may or may not have watched the video but whenever he um, comes into my energy, he sometimes take over the readings. So I owe you one. And for now, I am going to clear the energy. I have my little baby munching on Doritos. She's gonna keep trying to out talk me. Okay, but we'll continue. Okay, Aries. Thank you so much and welcome back to the trap house. So you guys definitely have a double chance opportunity to win a free reading. All you have to do is subscribe to my channel and comment below. I will announce the winner on Sunday's um, weekly reading post. So I haven't asked the question. I'm not going to take that card, but it was the cause and effect card. So it could be symbolic of you just realizing that, um, you know, all of your actions have consequences, whether it be good or bad. Okay. When we do our readings, we talk to God, the spirit guides, the ancestors, the relatives who loved us, who passed before us, the angels, the universe, and the creator of all things. We always ask for a clear, kind, positive, but above all, honest messages. Okay, so we'll get a power of love card for you, Aries. <sighs> so yeah, like I said, if this Aries reading isn't resonating with you, you may want to check out one of your other signs, your um, moon or your Venus sign. Okay, and you have empathy. I think that one came up for you yesterday. Um, at the bottom of the deck, you have priorities. And you do have this cause and effect and you watched me shuffle. So you know that that is what spirit wanted you to know. And expression, you are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. So for those of you who did resonate with last night's reading, today you could be, you know, having a sense of clarity behind that. You may be ready to come forward and express yourself and your feelings to the ones that you love. Um, you can be ready to talk it out with the cause and effect card here. It says you are aware that the love you create in your thoughts is an agent to the change, as an agent of change and the foundation of your results. So the cause and effects, this is speaking about manifestation. Um, you know, what we think is what we create. So if we think it's going to go bad, then it's probably going to go bad. But if we have in our thoughts that nothing can stop us and nothing can go wrong, then we are unstoppable. You are attacking your priorities. And I'm almost 100% sure you got this card yesterday. Um, I never really go back and watch the readings. <sighs> But you understand the paramount importance of manifesting love in all situations. So you are focused on your priorities right now and you're learning to be more empathetic. You are learning that you are an empath, whether you like it or not. Um, a lot of us have em empathetic capabilities. When you have empathy for someone, it's just a human reaction to when someone comes around you and they start to explain their situation. In a lot of cases, you can relate to that. So you take on their feelings. But here, because you had it today and yesterday, I'm pretty sure. Excuse me. But with the empathy card being here, um, this is you realizing that um, sometimes you love so hard that you end up taking on the other person's anguish or their feelings of joy. It doesn't have to be a bad thing, but you're just becoming more aware of that, okay? I don't think it was priorities that came out first. I don't remember what came out first. Empathy. Empathy came out first. That was the one that um, came out first. So that's the one we're going to keep at the forefront, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle. Okay, you got that lover's card. I know you had that lover's card in the reading as well yesterday, where it was just saying that you have the support of a, of a lover or, you know, you may have the choice between lovers, but that energy is what's keeping you going. The love and support that you need is present in your life at this time. And you did also have this 10 of wands. So I'm able to point out to you that while you might be in a period of conflict right at this moment, it is coming to an end. The 10 is the complete. Uh, 
situation. So you have really worked yourself up to the point where you can't stress about the situation anymore. The only thing you can do is lay those brooms down and keep on pushing. Okay. So thank you, Spirit. And what messages do we have for Aries for the week ending October 26, 2019? You have the world card and it's just as I said, you had the 10 of wands yesterday and now a cycle is completed. A job well done. Take all of what you can, all the lessons that you've learned. Look at the cause and the effect. Look at how these changes affected your life up to this point and look at where you are able to go. The completion of something because this is the very last card in the major arcanas. So um, actually the very last card in the tarot, <clears throat> depending on what book you read, but you want to make sure that you are aware that a new beginning is possible every time something ends you have the three of pentacles so in your life you are ready to build you are ready to um, in your career you are ready to stand up for what you believe in you are ready to um go and fill out those documents and get those legal papers done now you could have been dealing with a third party situation where maybe you were dating someone else or the person who you were with was dating someone else and i did say that again yesterday you have two threes here you have the three of cups but this is a call for celebration so there could be a birth announcement a wedding a birthday some type of celebration you could be announcing that you are um starting your own business you are throwing your salutes um you know you could be like again announcing that you've been engaged or that you will be engaged soon or that you just bought a new house or that you've made a career change and this is the energy of you going out having fun drinking enjoying your life and you have the star card energy here this is aquarius energy you could be dealing with an aquarius you also have the eight of brooms and then you have the ten of brooms here again so i think that there may have been some difficulties in the past maybe involving a, 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 a an aquarius or maybe it could have been you against yourself during the healing process and now you are ready to communicate and express how you feel with this eight of wands and this is rapid communication you could be di direct messaging someone you could be sending text messages calling um writing letters however you got to get through to this person you're definitely trying to get through to them and you are ready to lay these burdens down the burdens are still here you are working so hard please aries don't overwork yourself okay all right and what is the action that aries needs to take thank you spirit all right what we got here for aries the nine of air says, so stop overthinking, expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies and sleepless nights. You do not have to work so hard. The will of fortune is turning in your favor. It is a time of positive change for you. A situation suddenly moves forward and fortune is on your side. So you may be getting ready, like I said, to start this business. You've been pondering. You've got all your building blocks. You've got all your ducks in a row. The only thing left to do is take action. Make this change for the better in your life. Okay, Aries? And then you have the seven of fire. This is your energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You have the will of fortune and the world here. So you have um, these two major arcanas here that signify that there is a big, significant beginning and ending of something. It could be the end of a relationship or the end of a job or end of life as you knew it and in a spirit, on a spiritual level or on a, even a material or physical level. You could be moving in with someone or you could be moving on from whatever it is that you are used to. With the seven of fire, defend your beliefs and decisions and stand your ground and choose your battles wisely. So don't pick fights. Don't start arguments. You know, um, sometimes you have to have empathy. Understand the other person's situation so that you can get ahead. Um, don't, uh, no, let me say this. Understand the other person's situation so that you guys can avoid conflict as much as possible let me say that so sometimes it's okay to just hear the other person's side of the story without correcting them or without trying to solve the problem sometimes it's best to just acknowledge that there is a problem and then adjust yourself according to the issue okay whether that be you removing yourself from the situation or coming closer to that person or, you know, focusing more on work or less on work, whatever it is, just choose your battles wisely and everything doesn't have to be a battle. 
and this is renewal. Like I said, you're coming into a state of renewal here. Um, review and evaluate a favorable assessment of the facts, and it's a time to move in a new direction. So you have a time of positive change, a time of new direction. All of your major arcanas are sensing that there is some renewed energy. The, even this Aquarius star card energy is a card of healing. With the Ten of Cups, you are ready to have those happy times. It says, a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. And you have trustworthy relationships, whether you are in them or if this tower moment is going to bring you closer to them. This is life experience here. This is um, the tower card in a traditional tarot deck. It says, a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change. And it's time to spread your wings and move on. I don't know what it is that you're moving on from or moving into, but I do believe that it is beautiful energy. You may be reconciling. Maybe there's someone from your childhood who you really, truly love that could be a Cancer Scorpio of Pisces. It could be, I see Aquarius, Libra, Gemini here, um, Cancer Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and I also see fire sign here. Um, the most strong energy that I do see here is the air signs. Yep, I definitely see a lot of air and I see fire signs um and a lot of cups you do have the 10 the the six and the nine of um and the 10 to six and the three of cups so it says memory from your history or childhood issues regarding children and romanticizing the past and i know that in the tarot deck that i pulled the yes or no answer this was your yes answer and one of the things that it said was to sometimes just a little bit of attention goes a long way when you're dealing with the person you guys both might both be really busy but just not forgetting to reach out and text and say hey how are you that will make a person feel like a kid again oh she loves me he loves me you know he's checking on me but sometimes that's good enough and then also if you have children make sure that you are paying them close attention in the midst of all of your hard work as well okay <laughs> these cards just want to jump right out my hand okay thank you spirit and you got the death card and you have i want to say you had the death card no one of my other readings had the death card so this is in your strength the death is the strength of your energy right now because you are able to embrace change if you are not feeling like this is meant for you if this isn't resonating with you um like i said check your other zodiac signs but if you feel like this death card is scary or if it's not meant for you what it is is telling you that you need to embrace life okay you are embracing life and that is why people who can embrace death also have a strong will to live you know um and that is your strength here letting a situation die off that is no longer serving you may be in your best interest and i'm going to clarify that energy before i move any forward so let's see what the death card is here Yep, this could signify a breakup. You may be breaking up with somebody because I definitely see the world card. The world card is a completion. You know, thank you for all the lessons. You've been wonderful and great, but it's time to move on. I no longer want to be up at night worrying about you. I don't want any stress in my life. I just want to live a happy and abundant life. And like I said, some of these thoughts that you are having, the other person doesn't want to hurt you. The other person really doesn't want to stress either. Who in the world wants to stress but what happens is that because that might have been the case at one point in time if you allow yourself to see that people change and situations change on a, on a minute like by the millisecond right now somebody's changing for the better or for the worse and once you embrace that it, it will allow you to come back to, like i said you do have the energy of reconciliation here but when I say come back, not even coming back to that person, but coming back to the drawing board and evaluating how you have been dealing with the relationships in your life. Okay. Thank you. And you got the queen of wands. And if I'm not mistaken, this is exactly how it played out for you yesterday. So Aries, this is you transforming and possibly moving back into the energy of knowing your worth and knowing who you are and being on your throne. And if this is a male um, Aries watching this video, I am going to say here that even though this is the queen of wands, this is you embracing that empathetic side of you. That's why it's giving you feminine energy instead of your king of wands confidence. This 
this this queen of wands is equally as confident she's able to get tasks done she's just as much as a boss as the king of wands but the difference is that she is a nurturer she understands she's empathetic she is um a little bit more tender-hearted than the king who is really focused and really serious and really stern okay so like i said with your love life i see that there's a situation that could be coming to an end a phase of your life you know um a situation a relationship in your love life something is coming to an end it could be you ending this boyfriend girlfriend status and moving on to an engagement it could also be you um just completely cutting the relationship off because you know that you want to be in love with yourself and only yourself for a little bit of time or for some time it might not be a little bit of time it might be a long time you never know okay <clears throat> and you could also be moving on to someone else that is another fire sign or just someone in general you know this the death part is definitely walking directly towards this person and it, it's looking directly at it and it's the death card again when i see death the only thing i see is change and transformation i don't think about death as it is because i've been doing this too long to know that it is more than just life and death in this situation we live and we die every day when we go to sleep when we wake up we're reborn and literally you're waking up from these restless nights and said i'm too much of a boss i'm too much of that bitch to even be dealing with this type of energy you're transforming yourself okay you're building your will of fortune is turning at the heart of your reading in the center of your reading you have the will of fortune so when we ask if you're going to grind or be broke you're grinding who would expect anything less from an aries and like I said, this could be you with this world card transitioning from, oh, this is just my boyfriend and now this is my fiance or this is my fiance. Now this is my husband or now we used to be, but now we're not. It could be anything like that. And the Eight of Pentacles popped out as I was trying to get my stuff together here. So the strength in your work section is that you are a hard worker. Like I said to you before, when I saw that Ten of Wands, I know you're a hard worker. You will work to the point of stress. Make sure you're not doing that, but make sure you... Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I got cut out my daughter's at her basketball game. But yeah, so, uh, well, she's leaving the basketball game. She's coming home. She sounded like they won. I haven't had a chance to talk to her about it yet. But go pinholes Indians, you know? Okay, so what I was saying here is that in your um, work section, you have the Three of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Will of Fortune. Money, who does that, Aries? Because you guys have such a strong personality, such a bold and vivacious energy that you would definitely get money in your work section you don't see that too often sometimes you see people's love life spilling over like yours did yesterday you know there may be some uh, situations that were in your love life that now you've decided to clear out and focus strictly on your coins you have to and i'm not even mad at you aries do your thing do your thing okay spirit and what messages do we have for the strength in Aries family. Thank you. The Ten of Swords. So all the backstabbing, all the addictions, all of that shit is coming to an end. Anything that was slowing you down, you've been through the trenches. You not only had the Ten of Wands here, but now you have the Ten of Swords and you have the World card. So the world has beat you up enough, Aries. You're done with it. You're not accepting that shit anymore. You're stronger than that. And that is why the Ten of Swords is in your strength section. It's like, once you hit rock bottom, the only thing you can do is get up. You can't hurt me with that. I've already been told that. You can't hurt me with that. I already know that about myself, okay? At the bottom of the cups, you have... Um, at the bottom of the cups. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Cups energy. Again, this is reconciliation. This is reconciling with someone who makes you feel like a child or who has children. Reconciling with the little girl or the little boy in you who says, dream big. The Five of Swords, you're calling the truth. It's over. This is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. 
here with this five of swords and the world card again saying that you're not fighting you're putting these swords down in there it might be more than one person that you have to walk away from it could be your mother and your father it could be your sister and your brother it could be your girlfriend and your sad bitch whoever it is you're walking away from it all because you are complete you're completing yourself you're completing these cycles you're doing what you have to do to see your projects through to completion and not just your sad bitch it could be your sad nigga too I ain't sleeping on y'all. But um, with the world card here, it's coming to an end. It's, the cycle is completed. So there's quite a few cards that I want to read to you. Because um, she has some duplicate energy. One of those being the world card. So I will read that to you first from the Ghetto Tarot. Hmm. Drayton, come take the dog out, please. Shut the door so your sister can stay watching cartoons. Okay. The universe. The cosmos. This isn't going to work, you guys. Okay. So, the, this is the world card. Okay. She's fine. All right. This. Or she's not. Let her out, Dragon. Don't, let her, don't make her cry. Okay. Moving on. The world card. All right, it says the universe and the cosmos, and this is you. You are the universe. You are the cosmos. You have guardian angels. All right, come on, cry baby. It says inner and outer wealth, joy, recognition, being in harmony with the universe, finding balance, enlightenment, achieving goals, union of body and mind and soul. The world is in the world and the intangible are one. Become this the creator of your own world and master the daily life without Without you, the universe would be missing something. And that is beautiful. And that is also how someone else can be making you feel at this time. You may feel like this person is your entire world. And because of that, I can look at that two ways. You can stop overthinking because this person is transforming. And now maybe they view you the same way you view them. Or we can look at it like because this person is your entire world, that may not be the healthiest thing for you. You may be, It may be causing you a lot of stress don't let a person be your entire world you know transform yourself and realize how whole you are on your own never forget that so what i do see here is that above all you want to continue to love yourself in the midst of your relationships okay so that was the world Daddy. card thank you Daddy. you're welcome Daddy. okay and then I did see the Five of Swords energy here. And you had the Six of Cups twice. So I'm going to read the Six of Cups to you. Dia wants to help. Thank you. All right. Let me see. You have... Okay, so you had the Six of Cups. I'll read it to you from the Angel Tara. All right. The Six of Water... Memories from your personal history or childhood have resurfaced for a reason. Perhaps there's an old issue you still need to resolve, or your memories could be a sign of what's yet to come. You may reconnect with friends or romantic partners from the past. New acquaintances may feel like familiar old friends and cause karmic connections. The effect of children on this situation could be important. Childlike innocence or lack of guilt is also indicated by this card. Um, inheritance, gifts, reunions, sharing kindness to or from others, and romanticizing the past. Okay, so you may be thinking about what could have been or what should have been. You could also be wanting to revisit someone who you feel like might be the one got, that got away. Um, Aries, comment below and let me know what's going on with you guys. Also, you want to answer for that chance to win a free reading. Okay. So now, oh, my call must call you Aquarius because I looked at the star card. Okay, so now Aries, let's pull your yes or no card. If you had a question in mind before viewing this reading, I'm going to ask you to hold that question in your thoughts. Thank you, Spirit. Aries. 
And you got to believe and succeed. You got another six. Yesterday, you had the six of cups. Here, you had the six of cups twice. And now you have the believe and succeed. This is the six of wands. This is a victory. Okay. And you have love abounds. This is encouraging you that this is the love, the greatest love of all. This person who, whoever you are holding in your thoughts right now, whoever this question was about, if, the, if it was about another person, um, then they really, truly love you. And if you were questioning something in your own life as a single person, then you are really getting to the point in your life where you have the highest love for self. This is you conditioning your third eye and your heart chakra, working on your communication and excelling in all of the things that you are capable of okay so at this time i'm going to read this thank you i'm going to read the six of wands to you the believe and succeed card okay it says here confidence achievement inspiration and recognition this is you coming public so you may have been dealing with someone and you guys have not been really revealing who it is that you're talking to and now you guys are stepping onto the scene as a couple that's beautiful and this is you also you may have been keeping quiet about some work endeavors and now you are making them publicly known okay faith is powerful and can bring about amazing results it is important at this time to believe in yourself and in your aspirations regarding love Think and act as if all that you desire is inevitable. Again, no more negative self-talk. No more self-fulfilling prophecies. Your confidence will send a signal to the universe that you are ready to have that perfect relationship with a spouse, partner, parent, sibling, child, or friend. The energies of success are around you. Use them to achieve your dreams. A lighthouse shines its light as a beacon to passing ships to let them navigate the surrounding waters. At this time, you can be a beacon to others by acting confidently and being victorious. You can inspire your loved ones to reach out for what they desire. Recognize your power and uh, the power to affect people in positive ways. Congratulate yourself for this ability and honor the same abilities in others. So that's exactly what I said about having empathy. You know, you're understanding that you are a lot like some of the people in your life and sometimes the similarities and differences can be what causes you to collide so as you get your priorities straight and you learn how to express yourself and you learn that all of your actions have repercussions you will find that balance and self-love and respect that you need for yourself and others aries i hope that this message resonated with you don't forget to subscribe to my channel comment below to enter for the free reading and if you are interested in a private reading please direct message me at trap house tarot on instagram peace